If you didn't see the draft I did for this squad, definitely check that out. It was the last video I posted. And it's looking pretty good, man. I got the 99 Andre Dawson on the squad. He's batting third. I got the 88 overall Johnny Damon. And the 91 overall Fred McGriff. D. Gordon, the flashback Starlin Castro. I got a bunch of good players, man. I got Zach Britton in the pen as well. So as I was saying in the draft video too, this was probably the most balanced draft I've gotten in this game so far. This guy's got the Diamond Aussie Smith, which in MLB 16, I thought the Diamond Aussie Smith was trash, but dude, the Aussie Smith in this game is very, very good. I'm going to try and get that Aussie Smith at some point in time. I don't even know how you get him, to be honest. If someone knows that, please let me know. But I'm going to address this too because I said it in the last, or commented on the last video or two videos ago I'm pretty sure and said this I'm not really sure if anyone if everyone saw this but this is the deal on the table it's on the table written in stone so every single video I post I get multiple comments probably more than multiple comments asking me if I'm ever gonna show my damn face here is the deal on the table if I get to 10,000 subscribers by Friday by Friday if I get to 10k by Friday, I will more than willingly do a face reveal. It's not even a big deal if you ask me. Because, and don't even freak, don't even freak out and be like, oh, well that's not even possible. It's sin. I've seen people get like 3,000 subs in five days with, you know, people with uh, the same amount of subs as me. I've seen people get legit 3,000 subs in a span of five days. So less than a, a thousand subs in... What was it, five days because I said that yesterday in, yeah, five days to get a thousand subs is more than, is more than possible. That's, that, that may even be a bargain from what I'm seeing from some people's channels, to be honest, man. So if I was like, okay, if I get 10k by tomorrow or something, that would be ridiculous, obviously, but no. This is very doable. You guys want to see a face reveal? You guys have to make that happen. And I will more than willingly, willingly do that. And yeah, that's, that's the case. That's the deal on the table. You guys want that to happen? Then 10K must be reached by Friday. That's just the deal on the table. I mean, I mean, everyone's been asking it. So if you guys want to see it, by Friday, 10K, you will ex expect to see a face reveal probably on Saturday then if, you, if I can get to 10K by Friday. But that's it. That's the last thing I'm going to say about that. Hopefully people can... Uh, stop commenting that. I'm not really sure why that's even such a big deal, to be honest. I mean, it's not, it's just a face. It's not like I'm fucking Harry Potter or some shit, you know what I mean? Like, either way, this BR game, I got off to a pretty decent start. Johnny Damon got a base hit, and D. Gordon actually made some solid contact too, but wasn't able to get on base, so I, I still, I still, I still, I still do have some speed on base. I mean, this 88 Johnny Damon only has, well, not only, but he has 77 speed, which is pretty good. I think his rookie card has around 88 or something, so not as good as his rookie card, obviously, but still very good uh, nonetheless. But Fred McGriff was able to cash in Johnny Damon from second base right there, so that's must-needed, man. Getting off to fast starts in BR is must-needed, especially with uh, Zach Britton on the in the pen. I mean, this I think this guy did have a lot of righties in his lineup, so Zach Britton probably wouldn't have been used unless I had to uh, claw my way out of danger or something. But yeah, I think this guy did have a lot of righties in his uh, bullpen, so I wasn't really concerned about putting Britton in. Probably only probably going to use Zach Britton, obviously, against a bunch of lefties, or if I just have to get myself out of a situation, if I'm down a couple runs or a run in a certain inning, and somebody's threatening with some, with some people on base, got some people in scoring position... Zach Britton will be inserted no matter if it's a lefty or a righty. So, I mean, this guy was clearly sitting. He was clearly sitting on the cheese. He was clearly sitting on the fastball for a majority of these pitches, as everyone is seeing. So, why not drop in a couple curveballs, a couple change ups? I mean, this guy was just obviously sitting on the fastball. I mean, I was trying to sneak in some fastballs here and there because obviously, if you're just going to be throwing curveballs, change ups down low, everyone's going to be sitting on the off speed at time to time. So he's able to get a base hit down the line right there, able to get the double too as Damon doesn't have the best arm in left field. So he does make it into second base, insert Joaquin Benoit, this is only the live series, Joaquin, actually what am I even saying, obviously this, uh, I'm still thinking this is MLB 16, this is the live series Joaquin Benoit, pretty sure the only Joaquin Benoit in this game at this very moment. So he's able to get somebody to second base. Can't, Wilson Ramos can't come up with the solid block right in front of him, so he advances to third base. 
So all this guy needs to do is put something in play. There's only one down. So this, this is all he needs to do is just get a ground ball in the in the infield. Even though I was playing in, just get something to the right side. Most likely not that hard hit. But what, if it was a line drive right at somebody or a hard hit ground ball, probably not. But right there, I'm able to get the K in the dirt. Thank God. And now there's two down. Infield doesn't have to play in anymore. So yeah, Joaquin Benoit does his job out of the pen. Gets the first K. First battery faces. So this is, or was it the first battery face? I don't even know. I think that was the first battery face. So right here again, I'm able to get this guy. Uh, I, I was actually kind of behind in this count, 2-0. And then I clawed my way back and eventually get the K-2. So Joaquin Benoit is doing his job out of the pen. So this is when Carter Caps is inserted. So I think this is the first time I've seen somebody with Carter Caps in BR so far. Granted, I don't play that much BR. I play uh, ranked seasons a lot more. Even though I've been playing a good amount of... Uh, BR lately, I've been playing a lot more of uh, ranked seasons and stuff, but dude, opposite field home runs are a little bit overpowered in this game. That's Exhibit A. That's a late swing. That was on the inside part of the plate. I say it in every video, man. That's, that's kind of, I don't know. You tell me if you think that's overpowered. I mean, I don't think that should have left the yard, especially against Carter Caps. But I'm going up 2-0 in this game. I'm not complaining because I go up. If it was against me, I would have been heated, obviously. But yeah, it was... Uh, in my favor right there, so I'm going up 2-zip in this game, so Lucas Duda is off the bench, and I think, was this the flashback Duda? I'm not even sure, but either way, he has very good power, I think 90, over 95, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, I was putting him in as a pinch hitter, obviously going to the pen, I think I, had, I forget who I had warming up, but Zach Britton was not warming up, because yeah, this guy did have a good amount of righties, I'm pretty sure, Duda is able to come up with a base hit right there, sitting on the high fastball, I mean, what else are you going to what else are you waiting for when Carter Caps is in the game? So able to get another single with two downs. So now D. Gordon is up, just lined out his first at-bat. Something in the dirt, try and get D. Gordon chasing. I do chase that. Stupid me chases that in the dirt. And then, you know, next pitch coming to the plate. Waiting for something again. That's way too high for my liking and D. Gordon's liking. So 1-1 one, one count now. This guy is hanging something in. Hanging something in. I mean, I wish D. Gordon had some better power because that probably would have been off the wall. But this guy is folding. This guy is folding in left field. And I'm able to cash in that run. So I'm getting some luck in this in this first game 100%. I understand. I'm, I'll be the first to admit. I am getting kind of lucky in this game from the opposite field shot from Castellanos. And on a jam shot, pretty much, late swing, not that much of a jam shot, but it was on the inside part of the plate. That wasn't lucky. That's Johnny Damon turning on something right there and cashing in another run. So he gets a double, so Johnny Damon is 2 for 2 in this game so far. The 99 Andre Dawson, dude, you know you hit, you just got under something when the ball carries that far and it's that damn high in the air. So I'm, I was looking to go deep with Andre Dawson. I mean, I did have somebody in scoring position, so it would have been smart to just, you know, not swing for the fences, but we are at Fen at Fenway. Everyone seems to love playing at Fenway in BR. I, I do as well, because it usually turns into a home run derby when that is the case, so unfortunately Andre Dawson wasn't able to get a base hit in this game, but there's going to be a, there's gonna be plenty of more games played with this squad, I am hoping, so Andre Dawson is definitely going to be getting something going at some point in time. Do not worry. 4 nothing lead for myself now. This guy again was clearly sitting on the fastball, so I mean, why why give him a fastball? Why even try and sneak in a heater when this guy is swinging well early on the curveballs, on the changeups? I'm getting him, I think I struck out the side right there, so now going into the third inning, Fred McGriff is up again, cashed in the first run for the squad in this game, so he really got the squad going. I liked, or I've just been really liking uh, using Fred McGriff on my uh, Diamond Dynasty squad so far, which is why I took him again. I think I had... The option to choose just the live series, Lorenzo Cain, and I forget who else. I think Carlton Fisk, the gold Carlton Fisk, which isn't even that solid of a card. I was, you know, I was happy with Wilson Ramos instead of, you know, Carlton Fisk behind the plate. So, yeah, Fred McGriff wasn't able to get a base hit right there. The flashback, Starling Castro does get a base hit. I'm not really sure what this guy was doing in this game at times. I mean, that could have been a double, maybe. And he kind of took a weird route to that ball, so Castro makes it all the way into third base with the triple. So now Cargo is up, does not have a base hit yet, even though this is only his second at bat. I mean, you know, a wait lefty on lefty matchup, waiting for this guy to try and sneak in something off speed on the outer half of the plate right there. Oh boy. Oh boy. The curveball down in a way is should have been hit to orbit right there. Able to kind of get a hold of that one. Not really, I guess, but it is a sack fly, cashing in another run. 
So going up 5 nothing in this game, I mean, the squad is usually on fire. As soon as I get off to some, uh, some early leads, it's kind of impossible to stop the squad from what I've been seeing so far, especially in BR. When I've been getting off to some good starts, not really, that, not, not really that many people have been making comebacks in this game, so this guy needs to make a comeback in quick because it is the bottom of the third. Gene Segura is in for this guy. And, yeah, man, this guy needs to get something going quick. I thought he was going to try and drop down a bun for some reason just to get something going. But trying to sneak in a fastball, he gets, uh, he makes contact with that, but just caught easily in right field. So next guy coming to the plate, clearly sitting on the fastball again. So no chance. And now I'm going to try and sneak in a heater. So throwing some off-speed pitch. Beltron goes down swinging. So he's down to his last out of this game. And going to the fastball again for some stupid reason. This is game, set, and match. If you guys enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. This ball game is over. And guys, time to recognize the man who really stood out this afternoon. And there he is, Johnny Damon. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he played a nice game out there, as did some of his teammates. But he seemed to be the biggest difference maker. So he gets the nod in this one.